I agree. I don't know if that's on the priority list of uh, of things for LCS right now, or even for NA. If you there's a posting that's been going around. Uh, so all of you guys that that want to get your hand in in the NA development, there's a new position for the collegiate and scholastic type uh, roles for Riot, and so I think that's the way that they're trying to go, trying to go through a more college route than a amateur one type of thing, which is also interesting. Cause which was uh, one of the amateur teams that tried to do as professional as could be. They had uh, contracts on the team. They had, uh, who else did they have on the Ember squad? They, they had like a bunch of North American talent that eventually made it to the LCS, but that just does not seem viable anymore for these amateur teams to do that. So what is the pool that's left? It's, it's, it's collegiate or the LCS teams investing in it but you miss out on players that and want to go to college first. Co collegiate players are like, they're, I think people don't realize this <clears throat> um, when, when you bring up collegiate players. One of the problems that happens with pro players is not explicitly age. It's that as you get older, you start becoming more aware that there's more responsibilities and like things that you have to begin worrying about, right? So you don't have the ability to turn your brain off and then just grind 16 hours a day. So when you're in collegiate, and you're going to university and you're working or other stuff, your head is not totally in league, regardless of where you're at at that MMR. <clears throat> and even if you get pulled out of collegiate and go into academy or some sort of training or LCS, your head's still not totally going to be there. Because if it was going to totally be there, you wouldn't have been probably in that position that you were in in the first place. Which is like, may maybe some people will say that's a weird assumption of me to make. I just think it's, it's fucking natural to make that assumption. So I think, I think it's a little weird. I, I definitely think like, hey, look, they got more education to worry more about life. So they're going to think more about life than a player that only knows League. Right. Is that that's kind of the insinuation? No, 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 no. no. What, what I mean is like they they League was not their biggest priority. They just happened to be good at it and they could do it. That That's how a lot of people on Collegia end up. Most people don't go into collegiate uh, League of Legends gameplay to utilize League of Legends. It just happens to be like there and available to them, right? So um, it's like League is secondary to them. And so if they're already in their, their 20s or they're, they're entering like mid-20s or something and they're in collegiate, things get weirder um, to try to pick them up because they'll always have these like fallbacks in their mind and these infrastructures not in place. And all the other stuff is just not there. This is why Korea and China is really weird. Um, <clears throat> Korea and China is like academies and stuff. I mean, they have players as young as 15, 16, which isn't feasible in North America. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know uh, about Europe, but I feel like it's really hard to look at collegiate. And like me and Dom joked last time, you know, Tyler fucking Riot actually probably needs Tyler um, <laughs> for exposure and like something. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I and mean, what is what is going on with scouting grounds? Uh, I have no idea about scouting grounds, but I just think like just part of it is like the the desperation that that people have in like other regions is just so much higher that it feels like they just yeah. I mean, it's like do or die over there, like literally, you know. You get the story of um, of Huan Feng from from China, where it's like this guy is like abandoned by his parents, like it's literally like he makes it in league or he just like is completely screwed for the rest of his life. So you have that compared to like us where it's like, I mean, if league doesn't work out, like we just go back to like, you know, <laughs> our parents house, you know, like, like, you know, go back to college, finish college. Like everything's all good, man. I feel like we need the desperation. Like maybe we just got to stop, start like, you know, abandoning our, abandoning our pro players or something like who knows. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the, the fix is. I, I don't know what the plans are for scouting grounds this year. Um, I, I don't I don't know what could uh, actually be done. I know there's a lot of um, there's a lot of very young NA challenger and GM players that are actually like coming to Korea to boot camp um, that have like reached out to me for boot. They're actually like going to go through quarantine and everything and whatnot. So like I think people exist, but I think that they're they're just never given the light of day and there's no way for them to actually get exposure.